developed by Berlin-based design student Tobias Trubenbacher. A lamp post featuring an integrated wind turbine has been crafted to generate its own renewable energy and only illuminate when necessary. Papilio was conceived with the aim of significantly reducing light pollution and the emissions linked to street lighting, thereby mitigating its impact on both humans and animals, as well as the environment. Utilizing wind, a natural renewable energy source, the motion-activated design powers its turbines. If we are to maintain a future worth living in, we must urgently transform our cities into climate-neutral, sustainable, and less harmful environments," stated Trubenbacher. Addressing light pollution and the accompanying loss of biodiversity is imperative. This can only be achieved if cities generate their own energy through locally embedded decentralized systems and prosumer products in large quantities spread throughout urban spaces. In this regard, wind presence an often underestimated yet constantly growing potential. Papilio can be mounted on walls or set up as a freestanding lantern, ideally positioned between three to six meters above ground, where ground level winds are strongest. Harnessed by a turquoise pinwheel-shaped wind turbine with four aerodynamic rotor blades made of folded sheet metal, the urban airstreams propel the turquoise wind turbine. Angled diagonally, the rotor exploits complex airflows in urban environments, including natural currents, wind tunnels created by tall buildings, and smaller airstreams caused by passing vehicles. The wind's kinetic energy is converted into mechanical power by the turbine before an integrated 300-watt generator converts it into electricity, storing it in a rechargeable battery. I have already tested the lights at several locations in Berlin, and under normal wind conditions, the generator produced an average of up to 12 volts of electricity at any given time, Trubenbacher noted. With today's LED technology becoming increasingly efficient, this energy amount is easily sufficient to charge the integrated battery and provide bright light. Implemented on a large scale, Trubenbacher believes the light could help illuminate our cities without generating carbon emissions along the way. The world's population continues to spend nearly a fifth of the total global electricity consumption on public lighting, thereby releasing a significant amount of greenhouse gases, Trubenbacher observed. In Germany alone, Street lighting currently emits around 2.5 million tons of CO2 per year. Each turbine comprises four rotor blades made of folded sheet metal. Papaleo operates entirely self-sufficiently and could function without the need for an expensive underground electricity infrastructure, explained Trubenbacher. Alternatively, the lights could be linked to the local power grid, diverting any surplus energy to the city. The light, a full cutoff fixture, directs its head downward to minimize light pollution. To mitigate the effects of light pollution on both people and animals, Papilio is equipped with an infrared motion sensor, activating the light only when someone passes by. Its head, a so-called full cutoff fixture, is angled straight down towards the floor and emits no light upwards, while the light itself boasts an extra warm, insect-friendly color temperature of 2,800 Kelvin. Trubenbacher fine-tuned the light spectrum in collaboration with a group of scientists and researchers to be less appealing to insects, whose attraction to conventional blue-toned streetlights renders them vulnerable to predators, collisions, overheating, and dehydration. Light pollution not only has adverse health effects on humans, such as causing sleep disorders, depression, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes and cancer, but also has a serious impact on flora and fauna, Trubenbacher emphasized. It is estimated that currently in Germany alone, on a single summer night, around 1.2 billion insects die because of street lighting. Tobias Trubenbacher's design has been featured in various design and sustainability publications, highlighting its potential to contribute to more sustainable and environmentally friendly public lighting solutions. However, it is currently a prototype and has not yet reached the commercial development stage.